There have been many of you in the comments that wanted to challenge my thesis that the apex predator white people were, were dying out. And I've seen this over and over again that they just went to the police force. So I have something to say to you. If you are a black person that has been pulled over by the police and you drove away not being insulted, not being harmed, this is proof positive that the apex predator white people did not go to the police. Because I keep saying this, well, George Floyd. Okay, let's go ahead and have this discussion. If the apex predator white people in mass survived, and my thesis is they didn't, and they went to the police report, police forces across the United States, we would have George Floyd incidents, multiple George Floyd incidents on a daily basis. Because here's the thing, and one of the things you have to understand is the pathology of the apex predator white person. They don't give a damn. These folks were pathologically crazy. They did not care. And one of the things, and this is something that I want to show you, is when these apex predator white people found a black person and strung him up, they had their children present. They had their children present for these hangings and lynchings. Now, why did they have their children present? Because they wanted to indoctrinate their children. They wanted to teach them how to keep this apex predator behavior going. And you will see there is a black man hanging from a tree with young children walking around smiling. This type of apex a pathologically deranged white person has been bred out of existence. And I'm gonna tell you why they have been bred out of existence. Because they scared white people. You know what was worse than a black person to an apex predator white person? A white person who treated blacks decently. Once again, not was in bed with these folks, but just treated them civil and decently. These apex predator white people couldn't stand that. They was like, the term was, you are a nigger lover. And that, that term, that two word expression was something that the average white person did not want to be associated with because the apex predator white people treated the white people that they termed nigger lovers worse than they treated black folks. And this is one of the reasons that they were bred out and they had to get rid of them because the apex predator white people were very, very, very dangerous. They were extremely dangerous. They were extremely loose cannons. It didn't take much to activate a predator, apex predator white person. It didn't take nothing. Like the people who took Emmett Till and killed him. Those were apex predator white people. It didn't matter to them that Emmett Till was a child. Didn't matter. He was, he was black. He had to go. So many of you are coming at me in your feelings and you're are ignoring, um, truth. Now, as a black man, if you go ahead and approach 100 black women for sex, and one gives you sex out of a hundred. So 99% of these black women have told you, no, you wouldn't consider that a, you wouldn't consider that positive. But once again, are there some apex predator cops? Probably so. But are there numbers in Legion? Like I said, this is my thesis. The apex predator white people have been bred out of existence and there's just not that many of them. There might be a few here, a few there, but they just do not get down the way that they used to because you know Tulsa, Oklahoma? Guess who did that? 
Those were the apex predator white people that burned down a whole damn city. And to even go up a little further in the food chain, 1985, a Philadelphia city, the Move, uh, Move organization, were bombed by the police. That was some apex predator white folks shit. 1985, a bombing happened in Philadelphia. So when you start to, because here's the thing, the apex predator white people are activity based. They're not passive in any regard. If something needs to be done on their agenda, guess what? They're gonna do it. They're not gonna wait around. They're not gonna discuss it. They're gonna take action immediately. These were the people who would literally like say there was a black person in town and a black person had the audacity to stand up to a white person. The apex predator the white people would be at that black person's house that night to burn it down. The mere hours would pass before they would do something. This, because the apex predator the white people had no tolerance whatsoever. This is why Emmett Till was treated the way he was treated. This is why there were several black people pulled out of their houses and lynched and hung up in trees because the apex predator white people had a zero tolerance policy to anything they felt threatened their white superiority. They zero, zero tolerance, zero tolerance. And you guys, I'm going to say something. If you're younger than 50, more than likely you have not come across an apex predator white person. You probably have never seen one. You feel because you've seen racism. Now there are racist white people today. Yes, there are. But the racist white people of today are nothing compared to the racist white people that your grandfather dealt with, your great grandfather dealt with, and your great great. I mean, these folks were hostile, murderous. They were homicidal maniacs. You could be going to church with your family and you could run into a white family in town and some words could be exchanged and that night you could be dead. This is how the apex predator white people got down. They, had, they were vicious, they were homicidal maniacs. And one of the things, and this is what's so funny, cause you know, I was thinking like, why did the attack dogs of the white race get put down? Because the attack dogs of the white race were equally as dangerous to white people. And predominantly, these uh, apex predator white people resided in the South because the white people in the North, they really wasn't down with the, you know, there was racism in the North, but it was nowhere as near as bad as it was in the South. And this is why many black folks moved North and built middle-class lifestyles. So this was the civil war. It was the apex predator white people against the gentler kind white people and the gentler kind white people won because the apex predator white people wanted to keep the institution of slavery going and the non apex white people were not down with it. They saw it as an abuse of human rights, which it is, which it was. And fortunately they won. Fortunately they won. Cause like a lot of you are coming at me and talking about it's about policy. Let me go ahead and submit something to you. If you feel that your lack of success in America is due to racism, you are 100% lying to yourself. A.G. Gaston became a multimillionaire doing the height of the apex predator white, beha white people behavior. So can we s say that racism was a huge problem for black people when A.G. Gaston was alive? Yes, we can. Didn't stop him from becoming a millionaire. This man became a multimillionaire, was estimated to be worth like $110 million when he died at the height of apex predator white people behavior. So that is 
proof positive that you, despite racism, can do well in America. And once again, I'm going to say something. The environment we exist in today, I'm about to say something that's going to be very, very uh, controversial. I feel we have a lot, a bunch of weak ass black folks because if someone doesn't like you, and let's just go ahead and say that's the extent of racism. I don't like black people. If that's going to shake you out of your scheme, if that's going to shake you out of your, 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 your way of making, if that's just going to shake you, you are weak as fuck. You're like, okay, here's this white person over here who has not put his hands on you has not touched you, has done nothing to you, but because he has gone on social media and said, I don't like black folks, that's got you shook. When A.G. Gaston, when the Deacons of Defense, and the Deacons of Defense was an, a group of extraordinarily brave black men. These were black men that picked up weapons and shot white people during the height of the apex predator white people behavior. They protected black folks. These were courageous black men who picked up arms and shot white folks who were trying to do damage to black folks. So once again, if you are a black person in 2022 and you want to pin your lack of success, your lack of forward progress on racism, you are an extremely weak person because I just gave you a G Gaston who became a multimillionaire at the height of apex predator white people behavior when they were literally picking taking black men out pulling black men out of their houses and hanging them we don't have to deal with that shit today but he was like hey it's just still the same no it ain't no it ain't and chris rock he did a skit on it because he you know he was talking about you know, I had to be rich to live in this building and this one of my neighbors was a dentist and, you know, he was just talking about the disparities in racial economics. And he was like, white people got nicer, which in my opinion is an astute, an astute observation because that's exactly what happened. Because white people realized that the apex predator white people, whew, I remember this happened when I was a child. I was with my grandmother and one of these apex predator white people um, said something to my grandmother and my grandmother, she was a very light complexion um, in some situations she could have passed for white. And my grandmother was held in very high esteem because she was a school teacher. And then this apex predator white person got challenged by another white person hello all right send them on up thank you okay. bye so this apex predator white person was challenged by another white person and um, he didn't like that he didn't like that at all and you know once again, I am 55 and I can remember vestiges of this behavior of how these people used to be, how these people got down. And I can tell you in 2022, there are less of them than there's ever been because they were harmful to white people. Let, let's just be 100% correct. The death of the apex predator white people did not happen because they wanted to protect black folks. That wasn't what it was. These white people were so damn crazy. They were a threat to white people. We used to have this expression, um, people in LA, lower Alabama, white folks that scare white folks. That's why they had to go because they were loose cannons because essentially, and there, if you do your research, you will see that there were white people who stood up for black folks and these apex predator white people killed them, killed them. Go Google it. You will see their story after story of uh, the freedom riders of uh, the people who were trying to, they got killed and they were white people because there was nothing worse to an apex 
predator white person than a white person who protected and stood up for black folks. And that's why they had to go. They had to go. It was like, you know, you got this dog, this dog is nice to you, but this dog bites everyone. And then one day a little girl's walking by and your dog bites this little girl in her, in her, her butt and she has to have surgery. That dog got to go. And this is what happened. So all of you in here is talking about they went to the police for force. Uh, I submit to you that these apex predator white people did not go to the police force because they were bred out and they died out. You may have an apex predator cop here and there, but let me just say this. If we had the number of apex predator white people in the forties and the thirties and the twenties today, and they were on the police force, we would see George Floyd incidents multiple times per week. Cause they, they just didn't care. They just simply did not care. They didn't care about the law. They didn't, they did not care. And these folks were in my, in my estimation, mentally damaged and they were, um, psychopaths because they, they were just brutal. They were brutal. They were dangerous. And with what we saw happen at the turn of the century, I think there was a consensus by the larger body of white people that these folks had to go because they were just so unpredictable, dangerous, and they would, and the, the most important thing is the apex predator white people were about activity. They did not stand by, they were not passive. They did not complain. Like if a black person stood up to a white person at 5 PM in town, by 7 PM, these apex predator white people were at his house, dragging him out of his house. They did not waste time. They were very, very active. And this is why once again, I'm gonna say if you're under 50, more than likely you have never seen or confronted or even been around any of these white people. They were that damn dangerous. And you know, cause y'all are coming for me in the comments talking about, um, you know, they went to the police poor, they're race soldiers. Um, once again, let me go ahead and use the illustration. If you approached a hundred black women and one gave you some pussy and 99 said, no, you would not think that was a good thing. So why in the hell, when you would take a George Floyd, which George Floyd, make no mistake about it, he was murdered by that cop. He was murdered. We'll take that incident, which became a big thing. You know why it became a big thing? Because it wasn't normal. This wasn't normal activity. You got black folks that's like, yeah, this happened every, no, it doesn't. It doesn't happen every day. Because I submit to you, if we still had the number of apex predator white people that we once had in this country, and they went to the police force, we would have George Floyd incidents on a weekly basis, multiple incidents on a weekly basis to the point where it wouldn't even make the national news. It would be, it would just stay at the local news level because there would be so many. One of the reasons that George Floyd uh, reverberated across the country because it was wrong. The man was killed. The man was killed in public and it was in a typical act. Maybe the cop who did it was an apex predator white person. I have no way of knowing, but I do know that that behavior is not tolerated in the United States of America today. It's just not just simply not. 